in a hardware store in Idaho, a customer shows interest in a rather large chainsaw. But she has no interest in paying for it. The not-so-subtle shoplifter is trying to conceal the chainsaw in her pants. She finally seems to realize it's a no-go. But there's more than one ridiculous way to try to steal a chainsaw. As she now attempts to stow the contraband in the back of her pants. Until suddenly, someone nearly catches her in the act. The woman may think she's gotten away with it, unaware that a security camera has been recording the entire attempted theft. In fact, it's already caught her stashing over $1,000 worth of goods in her jacket and handbag, more than enough evidence to have her later arrested by authorities. It turns out the woman has a lengthy rap sheet for felonies, including theft and drug possession, and is sentenced to seven years in prison. While shoplifting is never a good idea, attempting to smuggle a chainsaw in a pair of skinny jeans? Now that's just asking for it. This day, it's two arguing young women who have spilled out into the restaurant's parking lot, providing a surreal backdrop to a customer's drive through order. Uh, yeah, can I have three chicken soft tacos fresco style? Did you also just chicken or original chicken? Uh, I think original chicken. Can I get you anything else? I get drink. Um, yeah, can I have a large Diet Coke? Get the f off here. Okay. And can I have a chicken quesadilla? Let go of my f***ing head. Let go of my f***ing head. Okay. As the two brawlers tangle over goodness knows what. That's it. Some local firefighters try to break it up. Yeah. The women are eventually separated. Though it takes a while. Get the off my head, and even more firefighters. Hey, 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 break this up. Dinner and a show for 10 bucks. <laughs> drive throughs really do have it all. <laughs> Uh, I think original chicken. Camera recording. Do it. At a thrift store in Johnson City, New York, customer Ashley Nolan finds herself in a tight situation. Her finger is stuck in a shopping cart. It's like red. It's turning colors. So I was looking at the books, and I didn't know my hand was even messing with the cart until I tried to pull my hand away, and my finger was in the holes. The store's customer service department is unable to assist, so they call 911. Great. How are you? I actually did not want 911. I figured we could do this one way or another, but they were insistent. Wow. How'd you manage to do that? I was so embarrassed when I saw all of these people showing up. Oh, good. There's more. <laughs> oh, there's fire trucks coming to <laughs> After a quick assessment of the situation, I, I can't an officer pulls out some heavy duty scissors. Cut a penny with those, I would think so. But getting her finger out is a lot harder than it was getting it in. <laughs> That's my other finger. Oh, okay. 
your things out of the way. I, well, you see, down here. okay, but I can't. Ow. That's squeezing it. There you go. Ow. I know, it hurts. Yeah. And apparently, this is not the first time Ashley has been stuck like this. See, at least with the metal, because they can bend the metal. I know, right? They had to at I do fidget quite often. As soon as I set my phone down, then I'm messing with the cart, and most of the time I don't even know I'm doing it. Normally when I get stuck in a cart, it's usually a metal cart. This was a plastic cart, so it was like a honeycomb kind of pattern. And the only thought in my mind was they're not gonna be able to get me out of this because how are they gonna fit scissors in between the plastic and my finger? Then, after several minutes... The finger is free. And though one would hope after all of this, Ashley would have learned her lesson, Ow. even she has her doubts. In this situation, I was embarrassed. Ow. I was relieved when I was let out. Okay. But I also know that it's gonna happen again. Oh my God, the sheriff is here. Hey, did you call 911? <laughs> It's early morning at an Eastern European grocery store, and a man starts recording as some trouble brews in the checkout line. According to media reports, this customer has just been told by an employee who's off camera to the right that he cannot purchase beer until after 9 a.m. <laughs> Now the disgruntled customer would like to continue the conversation outside with his sausage. The man smacks the employee in the face with a large piece of packaged meat and things are about to go from bad to much worse. <laughs> the employee's wild kick causes a brutal face plant and another beating. <laughs> But it's not over yet. The aggressor walks away unscathed. The employee, on the other hand, isn't as lucky. But he does score one point. The customer's lunch is totally destroyed. No word on any charges.